for the cheapest, fastest, most reliable muck coins in the market, check out my coin sponsors at AOEAH.com and use discount code MONEY for 3% off. Link in the description below. Welcome back, Money Team. This is Mad Money Shot. Snip of the Mad Cheese as always. This is the last day of Madden 23 official ratings to be dropped. Today, I'm going to be going over offensive linemen and quarterbacks. This is probably going to be the most controversial day because quarterbacks are definitely the most scrutinized. If you guys want to see more videos like this in the future, hit the like button below in the comment section. Other than that, it's going to get right into the video. Now, I'm going to start off with offensive linemen and make you guys wait for quarterbacks because nobody really cares about linemen. So, that's kind of how you uh, increase your audience retention time typically. Uh, but I'm going to go through the top linemen. Trent Williams came out a little while ago as being part of the 99 club i agree with that i think he's a great lineman i, I think he's absolutely uh, been one of the best linemen in the league for a long time uh, but let's go and let's move past that zach martin number two at a 98 overall it's kind of hard to argue he's been the best guard in the league for a long time quentin nelson coming at 95 though is a little on the low side i feel like he should be probably in the 98 maybe 97 range maybe right behind those guys uh he's definitely you know in the running for best guard in the league uh tyron smith coming in at 95 um i think that that's pretty on point i guess uh david bakhtihari teron armstead lane johnson coming in at 92 uh then you got Corey lindsey tristan Wirfs, and jason kelsey finishing on top 10 at a 90 all right so moving on to quarterbacks this is what everybody's waiting for uh tom brady number one quarterback in madden 23 uh coming out of retirement just imagine he's probably going to retire for real this year at four 45 and he's going to end his career as the highest rated quarterback in madden uh which is insane at 45 years old i can't say necessarily agree with it i mean most people you know when you look at rankings of who the best quarterback in the league right now they say aaron Rodgers, patrick mahomes or maybe even josh allen those are the names i'm seeing in a lot of different you know other outlets uh but for whatever reason tom brady is still number one like i said i don't necessarily agree with that i think aaron Rodgers or patrick mahomes would probably still be number one uh patrick mahomes fell on hard times a couple years ago he was a 99 overall now he's a 95 i don't think he's really fallen off that much josh allen i'd probably have uh, a higher rated number four maybe like a 94 or 95 um, I don't really care for, like they said, these top four ratings I don't really care for. Joe Burrow at number five is actually pretty good. Let's go let's get the rest of the list in here. Joe Burrow at number five, I definitely agree with. But once again, I still feel the ratings are a little bit low. I mean, the guy, um, you know, they don't look, typically like to raise guys that quickly uh, based off of, you know, uh, really only one year of success his first year he was injured last year he had a really great year so it's surprising that they actually raised him as high as they did Dak Prescott coming in after that I guess that's right although realistically I would take I would move Dak Prescott down I would take just about any one of the quarterbacks after Dak Prescott over Dak Prescott guys like Justin Herbert who threw for 5,000 yards in the second season Lamar Jackson who I mean Lamar Jackson's gonna have a tough time this year coming up based on the fact that he doesn't have any receivers out there but I still think he's probably better than Dak Russell Wilson's definitely better than Dak coming off of an injury riddled season although he was looking pretty good before he injured his throwing hand uh, and then Matt, Matthew Stafford who won a Super Bowl last year uh, played very well all the way through the postseason so that is probably my biggest issue I don't think Tom Brady should be number one I don't think Dak Prescott should be number six and I feel like a lot of these quarterbacks are getting kind of lowballed on their ratings I mean just imagine what was Russell Wilson's rating last year we're gonna do top 20 here uh Deshaun Watson and Kyler Murray coming in at the next two at uh 10 and or 11 and 12 to me could easily be in the top 10 um and i also feel like it's, it's interesting considering these guys both got huge contracts recently in the offseason and they're not even they're rated at 84 overall piece uh Derek carr i feel like a severe line rate i think this year he's going to put up his best season with Devonte adams he constantly gets the same grade i definitely don't think he's on the same level as ryan Tannehill. i mean ryan Tannehill, i think he's going to struggle big time this year without aj brown then you got matt ryan um, who i think is still an adequate quarterback in uh indianapolis uh, Kirk Cousins, which, you know, I think this rating, it starts to be to the point where it makes sense. Mac Jones is a 78. Uh, it just goes to show Mac Jones is as good of a rookie year as he had. We saw some other rookies. I think the highest jump from year one to year two amongst the rookies was Mika, Micah Parsons. I'll say it right. Micah Parsons went from 80, I, th I don't know what he was his first year, but he jumped to an 88, which was like the highest jump. I think the second highest was um, the receiver out of Cincinnati, 
whose name Jamar Chase was an 87 overall. So you see some of the jumps that some of these second year players made off of really good first seasons, and Mac Jones is not really a part of that list. Uh, then Baker Mayfield, which is, for some reason is still listed as being with the uh, the Browns, Jimmy Garoppolo, James Winston. I'm going to keep going because there's a couple quarterbacks here that I haven't seen that I want to see where they fall. And we're going to go ahead. We're going to go through basically everybody here. So Trevor Lawrence really didn't do much at all his rookie year, 76 overall. Uh, Teddy Bridgewater and Tua are the same rating at 75 apiece. Neither one of them are really that great if you ask me. Jalen Hurts was somebody I was waiting to see. I don't understand why Jalen Hurts comes in at a 74. He was a Pro Bowl alternate for the Eagles. He's there with Justin Fields, who Justin Fields didn't do anything worthwhile at all. And for some reason, he's a 74. Carson Wentz falling all the way to a 73 with Zach Wilson. I mean, he's way more accomplished than Zach Wilson is. Uh, so for being a 73, that's kind of embarrassing. Uh, then Jared Goff, Trey Lance. I mean, Jared Goff, once again, has done way more than Trey Lance. Trey Lance I mean, might have started a game or two. Uh, and then David Mills, or Davis Mills, coming in at the last spot at a 71. So that's all of them. But we're going to go over some of the rookies. So we're going to dive a little bit deeper when it comes to these rookies. Kenny Pickett was the only first-round guy. 81 speed, very respectable. Throw power, though, 86. So that's something to me. If you don't have at least a 90 throw power, I really question if I should build a quarterback. And this guy, he's got the speed. Like, typically, I want a guy that can be in that 80 speed or higher range. But uh, if you're in a franchise mode, I'm not sure if I'm willing to build an 86 throw power player. Um, that's kind of a bummer. So Kenny Pickett, only first-round quarterback, not necessarily looking like a first-round guy. Now, the next quarterback was Desmond Ritter. And I've said in previous videos that he probably fits the profile for best quarterback back to grow and he's coming in at 70 overall this might be a guy worth starting uh in regs to be honest with you 70 overall 88 speed 91 excels also nice and 91 throw power that's what i'm talking about throw power and speed is all that really matters to me then you go to some of the accuracies and he's actually looking pretty good it's 80 short accuracy 79 mid accuracy and 79 deep accuracy these are all really good to start throwing the runs in 80 uh all that stuff is really good so this is definitely one of the best looking quarterbacks in this particular uh, Mad 23 draft. And uh, the Falcons, if you get the Falcons, they're going to need a quarterback to grow. But this guy looks perfect. He looks like he's ready to go. Next up, we have Malik Willis, another third round pick, but he also looks better than uh, Kenny Pickett, in my opinion. 92 speed, 93 acceleration, 92 agility. Uh, he also has a 94 throw power. That's what I'm talking about. I don't care about the overall. 69 overall, I guess, is fine. Uh, regs, you know, maybe you want something a little bit higher. But at the end of the day, I'm thinking like franchise mode. His accuracies are pretty good, too. Accuracies are pretty easy to work up 77 short 71 mid and 78 deep a3 i'm sorry 81 on the run i mean this guy here he looked like the best quarterback in the draft coming out as far as potential. And then last but not least, I got Matt Corral, which is somebody that's like borderline. I mean, he's just around that 90 throw power. 84 speed is good. Uh, acceleration and all that stuff is fine. Uh, but like I said, the throw power. 89 is, is about to cut off, I'd say. Uh, 90 is definitely where I'm going for, but one point's really not going to matter that much. So this guy probably has the throw power. His actions are pretty good too. 82, 81, 79, and uh, you know, pretty much all of them are in that range. Throw on the run, all that stuff around, around the 80 range so this guy here could play immediately so that's it that's the video if you guys want to see more madden 23 uh videos as they drop i'm sure there's going to be you know the music that's going to be in the game next and all kind of other things all kind of reveals leading up to the release if you guys want to see them if you want to keep up to date with them hit the like button let me know in the comment section other than that thanks for watching man my shit out need more help or just want to show your support then head over to my patreon and join my team where you can get exclusive content like ebooks and bonus plays as well as early access to my vids and more link in the description below